Residents of the federal capital territory Abuja are back to the hustle and bustle of the Chris after the Christmas and New Year holidays. A cross section of the residents who spoke to TV360 Nigeria are looking forward to a year of economic stability. Correspondent for Lashade Olushegon completes the story. We will work diligently to make sure every Nigerian feels the impact of their government the economic aspirations, and the material well-being of, uh, of the poor, the most vulnerable, and the working people shall not be neglected. Prevailing economic challenges like scarcity of cash, exorbitant cost of goods and services, transport fare hike, and pervasive fare of insecurity defined the Christmas and New Year break for some. But if the New Year broadcast of present volatile is anything to go, then there is a glimmer of hope as the people talk about their expectations for the year. It's for the government to fulfill what Mr. President said on his speech. There are a lot of promises Civil servant salary will be reviewed. Uh, there will be more better measures for palliatives. And very soon our refinery will start disembossing fuel. That shows that drastically 2024 is going to be better than 2023. Okay, we want uh, good policies from the government and uh, also the ability to implement the plum, uh, the policies to the good of uh, Nigerians and uh, the president uh, Bola Metinobu has really good policy but we want at least the government to stay to his, his word. For a country with a significant number of people living below poverty line, government policies should address this while those implementing the policies are expected to shun corruption in order for government programs to be impactful government will do something to ensure that the refineries are working so that fuel prices can come down with a spiral effect on other sectors of the economy because the fuel uh, price is affecting literally everything uh, but I expect that fuel prices will come down. All of us have what is meant for us, what is our need, what we can only take at a time and not without going to amass what belongs to the other person. Economy is bad, economy is bad. It's when one person took what belongs to society and hold for himself. Just I mean, the economy becomes bad. And that is what I expect this government to correct. United Nations Economic Situation and Prospects reports for 2024 projects that Nigeria is at risk of declining economic growth due to rising debt, increasing inflation rates, which could impact the welfare of citizens. At this point, President Nibu's administration has its word cut out. Reporting for TV360 Nigeria, for Lashade Olushego.